see custom designs where no, you are not mistaken, that is my face on a 2x4. So we're still in the experimental process of learning how to transfer my face, what a lovely face, at least my wife tells me, to this wood. These are the tools. Polyacrylic, water base, some painter's tape, and this with measurements on it. All right, so this is just a thin piece of wood that I'm going to use to try to uh, smush down my face. All right, so all seriousness aside, we have to do a sign, SC Custom Designs, and we have to figure out what is the best method to transfer, not my face, although maybe we can get it in over, like over here, um, to the wood. So what you need basically is a smooth surface. So I sanded this with 400 grit just now. You need laser printed something, which is my face, and you need this. So let's go ahead without further ado. What we're going to do is increment and try to document via this video, this YouTube video for SC Custom Designs. By the way, if you like what you're looking at, which is my face, um, subscribe to our channel and we will be very, very appreciative. Okay, so without further ado, we're going to take the product. I'm not a customer, oh, sorry, I am a customer, but I'm not a salesman for Minwax. I've used Minwax product since the 90s. And essentially what we're going to do, first of all, is give a generous coat of the product. We're going to stick my face down, like so. I'm probably not going to tape it just yet. I'm going to try to quickly push my face into this 2x4. This is an acceptable method to put my face into a 2x4. Okay, so that's that. Now we want to take this here and basically smooth it down with gentle pressure. I believe the, the method may be referred to as burnishing. But uh, we want to transfer this print down like so. All right, so that's, that's number one. I'm basically going to take some tape. And I'm going to tape it down so it can't move. Fair enough, right? You certainly don't want a Steve SE Custom Designs face that is blurry. Okay, now the next one I'm going to do is going to be just not too much product, right? Eh, you know, like so. So, like over here, we're going to put SC Custom Designs. If I can sneak my face in there, if I can get it past the graphics designer, uh, Liz. If I can convince her that it's acceptable. I mean, we want to rely on the professionals for their opinion. Okay, that's number two. Number three. This time, I'm going to be glorious. Hopefully you can see that. I'm giving a lot of product there. Okay. 
let's put them down obviously try not to move them around right like I just did they do recommend you tape the piece first we'll do that at the other end of the 2x4 Tape it down first so it doesn't move. I'm going to get all the air bubbles out for sure. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and uh, tape this guy down. Be sure to tune in. For part two of this craziness. All right, this time I'm going to put, let's see here, I'm going to put some tape on here first. Like so. I'm going to put it here in a more controlled fashion, right? Lift it up, cover it up. Obviously, I put a lot on there, right? Bam. Let's face it, this process is tedious. Remember, we're trying to raise our uh, YouTube subscription base. We are at 161 last time I checked on this fine Sunday. And we need to get to 1,000. As of February 20th, YouTube will stop monetizing me until I get to 1,000 subscribers. I promise you, here at SC Cousin Designs, that I will entertain you, I will educate you in woodworking, in all sorts of processes. I'm going to put less on now. Okay, there's less. We are going to entertain you, educate you. We like to hear from you, the, the users. You have a better idea. I highly recommend, by the way, and I want to thank a person. Can't mention their name. Oops, that's not going to work. I just, I just moved it around too much. Let's see if there's any salvation. Any redemption. That's the beauty with experimentation, right? So as you saw, you can see I moved it around a little bit too much, as I'm doing now. So there, this is the worst case scenario. <laughs> yeah, this one's a debacle. That's not going to be good. Okay. Now, they recommend that you leave this in place for about an hour, given the proper conditions, uh, heat, you know, temperature, and um, humidity, dryness. We have 59 degrees. Oh, here's a tip for your, your bottle. Whatever you're spraying from your bottle, you want to go ahead and turn it upside down. Empty out the product from the port. And then let it stick to your fingers. So I'm pretty sure I 
cleared it out. Let's do that one more time. <laughs> All right, there we go. That way, when you go to use your product the next time, it's not clogged. How are we doing? All right, so. If you've never done this before, then this video is for you and me. Right? You want to transfer a print with toner, not inkjet. I watched a video not too long ago that said this is one of five methods that the person was very pleased with. So you can use acetone. If you have a laser printer, wow. Meaning that shoots like heat out. Okay. You have this, which is polyacrylic. Then they have a paste that's acrylic. And maybe another one I'm not remembering. All right. Thanks for watching SC Custom Designs. Be sure to stay tuned. for part two of Steve's face on a two by four, black and white, using the method of polyacrylic, a very thin cut piece of wood to smush it down with, and this tape. And I'll take this opportunity to just continue to to push down on it. I'm actually going to leave it for overnight. Okay. I'm going to leave it for overnight. An hour with the right conditions is enough time. But I'm in no hurry. Thanks for watching SE Custom Designs. With my face on a 2x4. God bless.